Well, it's been a while since we found some time to work on the camper and do some shop projects. Since picking this up, we did take one trip so far down to the Maryland shore and it performed very well. It's a wonderful little rig, easy to drive, easy to carry. And looking forward to more trips. I've got a friend of mine that said we should do some winter camping trips, so we'll probably try to do a few of those. In the meantime, I've got a few little projects for this Sunday afternoon to work on. One thing I want to do is, and I haven't even tried this yet, this is just sitting right here, is we've got a socket fitting there that's been ground down. When I bought the camper, the guy that I bought it from handed this to me, so I haven't even tried to use this yet. So we're going to need to raise the camper up a little bit for the other part of today's little project, and that'll be to put some wheels underneath this base that we made a couple months ago. These are actually car dollies. This is so you can move your car around in your garage and slide it into little corners. This was bought on Amazon and these things are heavy. This package weighed over 60 pounds with these four sheets and then the wheels right there. So the plan is assemble these, get those casters on, and then put one under each corner and see if that makes it a little easier to maneuver around in here. The plan is to have this seat in here longwise like this. And I think because of these raised sections here, that'll help grab it and hold it in place. If it doesn't, or if it sags too much, then we'll figure out something else. Well, the first thing we need to do is get this raised up. So this is a super cheap Harbor Freight 12 volt drill. Yeah, we're even 12 volts. We're not even 18 or anything. So let's give it a try and see what we've got. Okay, let's go to the other side. Well, I was surprised. A little 12 volt Harbor Freight $25 drill works fine for this. The thing I would recommend is if this is being used, is you just go into it slowly. You don't do it real fast so you don't throw that little pin inside, but this seems to work fine. It's kind of hard to hold a camera and this at the same time, so I needed to have two hands on the drill. But we raised this up very fast, a whole lot quicker than using the hand cranks. So I think that'll save a lot of time. And as far as the fitting for this, I just bought an adapter so that we could go from our smaller drill to that socket wrench right there. So we've got enough space here. So the next thing is I'm gonna put some scissor jacks on the base that I built so we can raise this up enough to get underneath this. And then we'll put the casters on. And actually, as I'm thinking about this, we're probably gonna to have to go a fair amount higher because those casters are going to raise up even more, but we'll see how that goes. The four dollies all bolted together, so let's raise up our base and slide these guys under. These dollies are just slid under, so now we're going to drop these back down and see how they sit. It moves around really well. Obviously, we've taken off the side jacks just to kind of shift it around, and I would not go inside the camper without those jacks on the sides just for some more support. But that does make it super easy to move around. And as far as lining up for the back of the truck, instead of having to move the truck around to line it up perfectly, we could get the truck close and then shift this around so it's nice and straight and then just back up.
just showing these from the back side, the back corner side, makes it very easy to move around and line up. So I think that'll be helpful. As far as when this is in storage, I'll have the jacks connected up when I'm not moving it around to give some more sort of outrigger strength and stability. So when we're going in and out, we're nice and, and supported. But I think this will be helpful. Super easy, nothing permanent. We can take these guys out and put it down firmly if we want to as well. As far as other projects go, in the next few weeks, we're going to attack the heater because we've got some issues with the heater not working. And I purchased a new sail switch. We've replaced the control board and the thermostat as well. And we're getting some, some action there, but we're not getting some ignition on the heat. So that's another little thing to work on. And we'll just keep on knocking things out as we go. Thanks very much for taking a look. Thank you.